welcome back guys to another episode of How to Minecraft, or not, with me, MGS Man, as per usual. Now then, <laughs> uh, in between episodes, there's been quite a bit going on. Um, as you can probably see there, I have a bit of floor missing. Like a plonker, well, I'd built the extension, as you have seen in the last one. Um, I'd built a, a few book uh, bookshelves and whatever. Um, but what I hadn't done was put torches around the room. So, there I was. I was outside adventuring. Now, da, 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 da. I came back in. What was standing in the corner... A creeper. Yep, this is what happens when you don't light up the inside of your house. You get mobs inside. And there was a creeper standing right there, bold as brassy as he was like, yeah, I'll wait for him. So, I got in. I managed to get a couple of hits, but no. By the time I tried to back up, it was too late. And the, the mother <laughs> blew up. So... Actually, the damage wasn't that bad, so can't complain too much. It did take out a couple of bookcases and that. But as you can see, I've rebuilt. Uh, I've managed to get the five across the back there, the one on top. Now I have another couple as well sticking out the sides there. So, all is good there for now. Extra storage. I don't... Did I do this the last time, or I think I did it in between the episodes? More storage now, a couple of extra. Uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, I mean, the, nothing in them at the moment because these two are mainly going to be for such as ingredients and stuff for enchanting and stuff like that. Another couple of chests here. We have one uh, for for stones. There. So actually, I can put that one back in there. Um, yeah, actually that's oil shale from the Sirius uh, Minecraft. I'm not exactly sure what I can use that for. This one is my wood chest. Obviously not a lot in there because I really need to stock up. These two are still the same. It's Oh, oh, granite! <gasps> da, 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 da. Oh, hang on. Oh, where, where have I just put it? There, silly, silly person. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh, yes, I didn't realise I'd got any spare, so there we go. And actually, that can go in there, because that is the... Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'll just... Anyway, yeah, I'll leave it in there, uh, because that's there. Uh, now, <laughs> again, I thought... Oh, right, slip the day away, let's get going. Tum to tum to tum, walk outside my door, stand, stand there as you do for a few, like a couple of seconds. Next thing you know, tss, I thought as I run, I was a bit too late, and he, another, <laughs> um, another creeper blew up and took out some of the fence in there and a little bit of the corner of the house and made a big hole there. So. That was more repairs, as you can probably tell. That that's a jungle fence, Kate. It's uh, and that's an elk fence. You can probably see the difference there. Um, <laughs> and a few chickens got away, but I managed to get them back. Actually, one of them. Which one is it? One of them's only that one there is only that poor guy's only got three out of four health because he got caught in the blast. <sighs> right. Uh, <laughs> As you can probably see the distance there, a rather strange building. And you're thinking, well, what is it, and why does it have a floating roof? Well, this is my zombie villager trap. Let me explain. You might be thinking, what? Now, because there are now more villagers left in the village... The only way that I'm going to get any more villagers back in is to cure a zombie villager. Now, if we have a look at the map, the next the next nearest village is there, zombie village. There's no way I'm going to get a rail 
to go all across it. Well, I could, but it, it's going to take too much effort. So basically, there we go. It's 1,289 metres away. Um, actually, that would probably be a, a good thing to do. The, the one kilometre rail track thing too, wouldn't it, really? But basically, that's how far away it is. And to get there, it really would take more than a day. Uh, In-game time, obviously. Right, uh, yeah, so the trap. Basically what happens is, if there's a, a zombie villager uh, up around there, actually it works both ways. That's why I've put that there, because if I happen to be over this way, which I was before, and there was a zombie villager chasing me, I was like, oh, typical. I'd got nowhere to like, ch for him to chase me into. What I, would, what I would do, well, for example, if there was a zombie villager chasing me this way, I would lead him to here. The pressure plate, bump would open the door, and bump, uh, actually, oh, crap. Uh, crap, 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 crap. I need to, uh, one, two, three, four. Let's uh, bump. Because what I need to do is stick down a torch so that nothing spawns in here. Um, but what I want to do, let's just go and slip the note away because I don't want to do one just yet. So anyway, yeah, uh, it works this way as well. If I happen to get chased by a zombie villager, which I would do on purpose to bring him over... I would run in, oh crap, <laughs> hang on, I would run in, uh, it would follow because he would be able to open the door with the pressure plate uh, and hopefully be quick enough to, to get in here. What I would do is run out this way, as I run over the plate, that would shut the door and that would mean then he would be trapped inside. Then, <laughs> one of the reasons for doing this is basically I would be able to throw in the potion through this gap. I mean, obviously I could keep an eye on him. Hopefully there's enough room, I don't know if I said this, enough room inside so that he didn't despawn. The whole point of putting this over the top is so that it keeps the sun off him. Because obviously it would just burn away and that is so annoying so let's just get that because we just need four of that then we go like that get the four sticks actually i'll just use these two uh put those two there those two there and the crafting table there and we have the carpentry bench again <laughs> again uh, I, I have no idea what happened to it because if you remember it turned into that bone th thing and there's that weird sound again I have no idea what it, it's about um, so do I put it back there or do I put it over here because it's a uh... yeah let's put it there instead uh, because then, what we can do is get more sticks, because I need more sticks. What an idiot. And you, it's a pity, really, you can't uh, get sticks using this. A bit silly, really. Oh, the, the emerald block, I need to, I need to break that down into the single ingots because then uh, what was it? It was the three sticks and then it's one, two, three. Ah, there it is. The emerald battle looks Oh, no. Oh. 
Oh, and it's actually used the ingredients this time. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. Got the battle axe back. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, right. Up and down now. That's it. A wooden table. And if we uh, get that and we can put that there. Wow, look at that. That is rather smart, if I say so myself. I do quite like that. <laughs> and that's what I'll be putting my uh, brewing stand on, basically. Uh, once I get the, the blaze rod, blah, blah, blah. Um, what I may do while I'm not recording is go off on a little adventure, try and find a lucky uh, block and possibly get a blaze rod and stuff from one of those because, <laughs> strange as it may seem, um, sort of earlier on I went and uh, sort of just started this new world because I've got the Biomes of Plenty uh, mod. I, I tried to, I, I created a new world. Oh my God, it was just full of ice, snow and God knows what, there was just loads of that. There was hardly any actual sort of a, a green bits like this. It was just full of ice and whatever. And I thought, oh my God. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, that's that then. And I'll be doing that hopefully very soon. But for now, I shall end that episode there because it's gone on a bit longer than usual. Um, like I say, if you have got a name for uh, <laughs> those big green battle axe, then uh, please give suggestions in the comments and I'll see what I can do. But for now, I shall thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And... That's it. I shall see you next time. I shall bid you adieu and say goodbye.